everybody doing today? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Brandon Bravon Towns, host of that show called Sports Plus Life. That there sports podcast where we talk about all of the necessary topics in sports and all of the necessary topics in life. And you know what? The last time I did an audio, my voice was damn near back. But then division week, playoffs, emotions, I started yelling, taking a knocked a couple back. And now my voice is all jacked up all over again. So I got to start all over from scratch. And I said yesterday after the podcast that I was putting my voice on ice until Friday. Well, then we always got to have some shit happens that requires me to talk. So, you know, this is Sports Plus Life Quickie. I'm going to have this on the Brave On Towns YouTube page as well as the Sports Plus Life YouTube page. So shout outs to Two Tough Sports, Heather's Craft Haven. Anybody else want some free publicity, come holla at your boy. But anyway, let's get to it. Um, NBA news, breaking news, Milwaukee Bucks head coach Adrian Griffin, who was just hired in June, was fired today. <laughs> Is it because the Milwaukee Bucks have been god-awful? No, they're 30-13, second in the Eastern Conference. They've won five out of their last six games. So what brings about the dismissal? I don't know. Um, Maybe he lost the locker room. Maybe he shouldn't have been hired in the first place. I don't know. But I was actually happy that they hired him because you don't see first-time black head coaches be put in a situation where you have two superstar first ballot hall of famers on a championship caliber team so did Giannis have a say in this did Dame Lillard have a say in this I mean again the Bucks record is 30 and 13 it's not like they're awful they're number two in the Eastern Conference they just dragged the Celtics by like 50 like a week and a half ago but whatever the question may be Milwaukee is clearly in win now mode so what do you do you have an interim head coach there now and you're looking for a proven, chiseled veteran NBA coach. And the name right now that's at the top of the list is Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers, who was the coach of the Philadelphia 76ers the last three years, is now serving on the A-team commentator block for ESPN and ABC. Will he leave the booth to go back to the sidelines, so to speak? It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, who wouldn't want to coach Giannis and Dame? Now, defensively, Milwaukee has been horrible this season. But you knew that when you traded away Drew Holiday to get Damian Lillard. You know Damian Lillard is not known for defense. And Drew Holiday is known for defense. So you know you were going to take a step back. But the defensive scheme does not seem the same. Milwaukee, who was number four last year in defense, right now is falling to number 22. So it's interesting. What are the Bucks going to do now? The last time that a coach with this type of record was fired in the middle of the season was back in the 2015-2016 season when David Blatt was fired from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, if history repeats itself, that means the Milwaukee Bucks may win the title because when Ty Lue came in and coached the LeBron Kyrie-led Cavaliers, they beat the Golden State Warriors in that famous 3-1 comeback championship series, which... I don't really have no respect for because the NBA interfered in that series. But I digress. Anyway, is it going to be Doc Rivers? Are you going to try to get one of the Van Gundy brothers, Jeff or Stan? Who knows? Maybe you could call back Mike Budenholzer. You know you're not going to do that because you just fired him. Your pride ain't going to let you do that. But we shall see. Um, It's interesting because, like I said, my pick this season 
for the for the title has been the Milwaukee Bucks. As soon as they got Damian Lillard, I said, well, you can pencil the Bucks in. And again, their record is very good. But some chemistry, something behind the scenes is definitely wrong for Adrian Griffin to not even make it to the All-Star game, the All-Star break. That's crazy. 43 games into your very first head coaching gig in the NBA, and you are 17 games above 500. You are number two in the Eastern Conference. You've won five out of the last six games, and you get canned. I mean, that is disrespectful on so many levels. I wish Adrian Griffin nothing but the best, but hey, they got to pay out the rest of that $40 million contract, so ain't nothing like being a fired head coach in professional sports or even even major college sports. There's nothing like being a dismissed head coach. You get a fat-ass check, and you can sit on your ass, even though now you, it, it may hurt your career, but hey, and it definitely ain't going to hurt your pockets. But anyway... Shout out to Joel Embiid as well, who dropped 70 points last night. God damn! I know, right? On the anniversary when Kobe Bryant dropped 81 on the Toronto Raptors. So shout out to Embiid for dropping 70, but I like his mindset. It don't mean a thing if you don't get that ring. So anyway, it's your boy Brandon Bravon Towns. I'm going to actually go and really rest my voice until Friday. I'm putting my voice on ice for the rest of the week. I mean it. That's why I just wanted to do this news report. I felt it was my duty. But you know what? It's your boy. I'm out this bit. Y'all have a wonderful rest of y'all week. Be blessed. Peace. Love you.